Hello, welcome back to the 100 baby challenge where Sarah tries to get as many babies as possible. She just gave birth to twins last episode and she is pregnant. The other parent is a polar bear. <laughs> if you missed it, the link to the previous episode will be uh, on screen. It is late at night, all the kids are just... What are you doing, Sarah? They are obsessed with that puppeteer, even when there is no one playing with the puppets, they just stare at it. I, I don't know what it is. Let's just make sure the babies won't be crying anytime soon. Everyone's sleeping and Sarah's knees are perfectly fine, so I'm just gonna have her paint. She still has the fabulously wealthy aspiration. I think we might be able to finish it this episode. <laughs> she is already at the, on the three of four and her paintings are selling like crazy. Uh, there's nothing else to do for her at the moment so I'm just having a paint. Oh and it is almost the baby's birthday. Yes, it's Saturday is their birthday tomorrow. Uh, one of the kids has woken up. Oh yes, his needs are trash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take care of him. Oh, look at little Aiden sleeping. <laughs> He's so adorable. And she finished another painting. Let's put it in her inventory. That will sell nicely. It is the weekend, but the boys are both fully rested and their needs are fine. So I'm just having them do their school project. And they he already reached level 3, he's completely ready to age up next Monday. Too bad it's still two days away. <laughs> well, he still needs to do his homework. And he is almost there. His fun is pretty low. Why isn't he listening to the music? Well, he, he will be when he is uh, working on his homework. I really like the painting that uh, Sarah just made. It's cute. Xavier finished his school project. What? Oh, that's so cute! A little robot! That is adorable! <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen, him. seen this. <laughs> it's cute. And Nico also made a robot. Yes, let's activate them both. <laughs> Those are fun! <laughs> so nice! Yeah. Oh, now he's listening to the music, so his fun should go up. Aiden is woken up so angry. He is a hot-headed sim, so that's uh, not so weird. I'm just gonna have him take an angry poop and a cold shower. Let's see if that, that, that helps. It is summer cool down today, but of course it is raining too again. It's Brindleton Bay, of course. So I'm gonna look for that weather machine. Let's see if we can uh, make the rain stop. Now let's see if Sarah can upgrade it. Because if it isn't upgraded, you have a high chance of failure. Greater air success when you want clear skies. Well, that's what we want. We want clear skies. So, if you can hurry up with those babies, we can have some better weather for the summer cooldown today. I think I'm gonna invite all her children again. That's, uh, that's fun. I'm having her upgrade the weather machine and she is done. Let's change to clear skies. Pola. No, I do not want to go out on a date. You already did your thing. Let's see. I love this machine. I don't use it that often though. But uh, I think it's, it's really, really fun. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yes, an evil off. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this, an evil off. Well, let's see if the rain will clear. She's not l longer afraid of the thunderstorm, so that's a, that's a good sign. I've invited all her children over, and the first ones have found the water slide, which is really, really fun. I also made them some drinks, which is also part of this, uh, this holiday tradition. That's, uh, oh yes, and of course I invited her friends. I've had Sarah make some marshmallows from Gen Granny's cookbook. <laughs> Look how, how full, full the house is. And I don't even think all her children showed up. She has so many. <laughs> I'm loving this. I really am. 
Uh, it looks like Sarah is having a great time too. Just sitting there eating with her children. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a nice holiday. And the kids are all all good for school. They're there already. So we don't really have anything else to do this weekend. Except for taking care of crying babies of course. But it is their birthday today. So I am gonna age them up. Come on little buddy. I'm gonna age you up. Here we go. Mate is this is one was Matteo, right? Yes, Matteo. He is fuzzy. Okay, the, my least favorite trait. They always get mad when you try to teach them stuff. Okay, let's age him up too. Come on, Lucas. Yay. Lucas is also fuzzy, yeah. That's my luck. Oh, and his hair is blue. Yes, his father's hair was blue too. So, I've never seen a toddler with blue hair. I'm, I think it's one of my CC hairs. I'm not entirely sure though. Feel the children are having a water balloon fight. <laughs> I think this came with, uh, with seasons. It's really funny. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Solar, she is uh, <laughs> She's mock. Ooh, that was a word. <laughs> I've got a toddler pool outside. I'm just trying to see if this raises any skills, but I don't think it does. No. <laughs> but it is it's cute to look at. It's, uh, it's really cute. All the children are going now, and it's starting to rain again, so let's just uh, get rid of the rain. Sarah changed the weather to clear skies again. It always t it takes a little bit of time. And now I'm having her use the uh, grill to cook up some food so she can complete the summer cool down event. <laughs> and uh, Lucas is chatting in the background to the giant stuffed animal. That's, uh, that's really cute. Let's put that away. As you can see, all the food has been eaten by all of the children that came by. But fortunately, Sarah likes cooking, and I am gonna have the teenagers also grill something so they also complete this holiday. Aiden is playing with the science table to up his mental skill. He needed his skill to be level 2 to get a B grade at school, and he is already there. But I think I'm gonna have him have a head start so he will get to level 4, which he needs for an A grade. And let's just potty train those toddlers so they will age up quickly too. I'm really curious what they, what they will look like. <laughs> now I would really appreciate it if you didn't burn my house down. <laughs> and uh, for you too. I mean the science station can go up in flames as well. Although I don't... Restaurant not functioning. Okay, I've had this weird bug before. I have no idea what's causing it. If you do, please let me know in the comments. So Sarah just grabbed herself a drink and is drinking it in the bathtub while all her kids are are asleep. I mean, it's, it's honestly a vibe. Sarah barely needs to sleep because I've got her the never wary trait. So she'll just cook up a storm and fill up the fridge again this night. There was something I wanted to do, which is a bit controversial for this challenge. Um, I was looking at the challenge rules as one of you told me that she couldn't travel during this challenge But it wasn't the case. I, I checked she can travel. She doesn't have to bring her kids And I also read that she can have a job as long as she keeps working from home uh, Something else I read is that if you have your first sim in a generation challenge get it into the stylist career you can set some about five different outfits for sim sims to wear that sims would prefer to wear which will prevent the ugly towny syndrome where sims just wear whatever so i'm gonna see if i can uh, get sarah high enough into this career I am not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, it's a nice side project from uh, having to raise all the children. Speaking of children, 
hunger and he is so hungry. Yes, I thought for a second he froze, but I just pressed pause instead of play. <laughs> yeah, he can. Uh, you can eat something, little buddy. Oh, look at him walk and upping up his movement skill along the way. Okay, Sarah, time to get some money to work on your aspiration. Let's see, we've got a, yes, we've got a ton of gifts. I'm just gonna sell them all and I'm gonna sell all her paintings she's got. Let's see if we can finish her aspiration this episode. I noticed I still got three birth certificates in, uh, in my inventory, so I'm just gonna hang them. And I'm missing two of them because she gave birth at home instead of in the hospital one time. So I'm just gonna clone them and uh, paste them in here. I can do this because I've got a better build by mod. Usually you can uh, you cannot clone these things, but. Uh, yeah, well, I can, because I've got it mod, which is so pretty awesome. Look at how many birth certificates she already has. That is so awesome. Don't mind me, just selling paintings at 4 a.m. Oh, we've got one toddler awake. You are doing pretty well, so just up your communication skill. Sarah is still selling paintings outside, but Xavier is awake, so I'm gonna have him potter train Matteo. He does not want to. So nice, that fuzzy trait. Okay, you boys are doing well. And, oh, it's the big game today. The sports event is uh, is this. Well, at least I'm pretending uh, it to be. Let's see how Sarah's doing. Just two painting left. Let's start another yard chill. Her needs are pretty great. And let's take care of the needs of all the children. Just one painting left. Come on, buy my painting. I also need to interview three sims about their outfits. And since he's still hanging around here, where is interview? Where? I get to know. Hug. Interview, yes. Let's just interview him about his outfit and we got one done. Let's just uh, invite over some people to watch the game with Sarah and maybe I can even interview them about their uh, clothing. Yeah, this uh, Summer and Lilith are fine. Those are her best friends, so I think she'll enjoy hanging out with them. She doesn't get a chance to do so much often with all the children she's having. Hey, Summer, mind if I ask you a few questions about the clothes you're wearing? And Lilith, do you mind if I ask you about your outfit? Yeah! Her job is done for today. And just let's check on the kids and let's complete those holiday traditions. I love that the teens can potty train the toddlers. Good job, boys! The toddlers are almost level 2 of party training, so let's just keep putting them on the party even though they don't have to go. But the party skill will go up. Sarah is watching sports together with the girls. Her holiday traditions are almost all completed. I'm just gonna have her do some uh, of the interactions that help with completing the party goal of this one. I'm having the teens watch the game too, so they won't be sad tomorrow that, he ha that they haven't watched the game. Aren't they adorable eating together? I love the blue hair on the toddler. <laughs> I literally never seen it before. It must be some CC hair I have got. It's, it's so cute. Aiden is uh, working on the science station again. He is almost level 4, so I'm just gonna keep him working here for a little bit. Uh, I really love that they can do this. Oh no, he's napping on the rocking horse instead of sleeping in his bed. Uh, yeah, raise his responsibility, that means he will help out around the house more. Why can't you reach your bed? What is wrong? I have no idea. Let's try again. Come on. Come. He's trying to... S can you go? Yeah! No, there's no problem. I have no idea what it was. Maybe his brother was in a way. That's a, that's a possibility. Let's just have him sleep a little and then we can work on their skills to 
uh, when they wake up, probably later today. Uh, Sarah is really about to burst. She's almost, almost due. I'm hoping we're having twins again. We've got six sims in our household now, so that's a real possibility. If you're wondering why she is keep having twins, the house has the on LA line a lot type, and she's got the fertile trait. So those are two things that really, really help if you want your sim to have twins. Sarah hasn't reached her aspiration goal yet. What? It, I didn't tell him to work on his school projects. Oh well, it, uh, it raises his grade, so why not? Now I'm having his brothers help him out and Sarah is painting away, the toddlers are asleep, everything is going so well. I mean, it's, it's still still hard work to keep everything everyone on their toes, but uh, I mean this challenge is going really well. If you have any more uh, tips or tricks for me to uh, complete the challenge even faster, let me know in the comments or if you have any ideas for uh, adding more of a storyline into it, I would love to know your suggestions. School project is done and all the kids are asleep. Oh, she painted a masterpiece! <laughs> Amazing! Let's just go here and sell all the stuff she's got in her inventory. I mean, midnight is the best time to sell all your paintings to have a yard sale, of course. Let's look how the toddlers are doing. Almost done sleeping and you are done sleeping but need to go potty. Let's see what these skills look like. Communication and potty and imagination are level 2. Movement and thinking are still level 1. He's thinking... What? The most interesting... Th oh, she completed her respiration! Yes! Okay, um... But what aspirations should she do next? I really have no idea. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas for aspirations for Sarah. Sarah sold all her paintings. Oh, I love a fuzzy toddler. So now I am just gonna have her teach him thinking. Which he needs help with until he is uh, getting to level 2. And then he can play with the blocks by himself. Oh, the skills are going up so quickly. Oh no, her water broke. <laughs> it is time to go to the hospital. Yes, we'll join her. Let's check her in at the front desk. Of course, it's on the other side of the hospital. Come on, Sarah. And you're gonna sit there. <laughs> yeah, I understand you wanna sit. But just check in, please. It is go time. Sarah is walking towards the operating station. She knows the drill, so she's gonna lie down. I don't know if she's gonna wait for the doctor this time. I'm seeing the doctor walk there. Oh, she's waiting. Oh, it's the same doctor as last time. Hey, back again. Yes, you know, need to, to have more babies. It is a girl. I am gonna look through your comments to see if I can find a good name for her. Peyton says, Aya, Jessica and Eve. I really like the name Aya. And we've got another girl. Um, let's see. Johan says, Diana, Annie or Annabeth. I really like the name Diana. Yeah. Oh, we got another achievement. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a full house again. Well, it's a good thing I got this achievement because I would have totally forgotten I had eight sim and would have tried to get Sarah pregnant again. Oh, look at those little babies. Those rompers are so cute. It's a heart with a rainbow on it. Let's start with taking care of these babies. Luckily, we have super efficient baby care, but unfortunately, and it has a cooldown period. And we've got rebate day to day, which means she needs to spend at least 500 simoleons on something in her house for it to be completed. I will look into that one later. Let's first see how all the kids are doing. He is doing absolutely fine. 
Oh, the puddle is still on the floor for when her water broke. That's funny. Uh, he is missing imagination, but that rocking horse will take care of it. Yeah, see? He's learning imagination from that one. It is Monday morning, so all the kids will go to school very soon. I'm having one of the toddlers play in the cabinets to raise his thinking skill. Oh, Aiden is really sad. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, he's riding at a rocking horse. His imagination is going up. Lucas, oh, you are thinking level 2. So you now you can do shapes with the blocks. It goes a lot faster than playing in the cabinets. Uh, it's time for work for Sarah. Let's make sure. Yes, work from home. And what does she need to do? She needs to interview another three Sims. Let's just invite them over. Lilith, always fun. And of course, Summer. And who else? Yeah, Sola. Let's see if she will show up. Hey, Lilith. So I had some more questions about your outfit. Yeah, she is riding it down. Now let's ask Summer too. Yes. She got some interview, but where is Sola? She will be right over. Where is she? Is she here somewhere? No, it doesn't look like she came over. That sucks. Let's uh, ask someone else to come over. Who will we ask? Oh yeah, the polar bear. Yes. Then we need to ask about his outfit, of course. Let's see how the toddlers are doing. Oh, they're both level 2's on everything. That's awesome. Yes, let's get him to babble a bit to the stuffed unicorn. <laughs> He's spamming those interactions. So they'll uh, just go on Well, I am playing with the other sims. Polar Bear showed up. So, uh, Polar Bear, can I ask you about your outfit? Let's see. Yes, completed. And another well deserved salary. And the babies are crying, of course. Let's just do some super efficient baby care. Let's see how the toddler's doing. Communication level 3. Yay! Okay, you can stop babbling now. What else do you need? What are we gonna do? First party. And I... Yeah, he needs to go to sleep. Yes, he needs to go to sleep too. We we'll can continue when they are done sleeping. I still need to buy something to a complete rebate day. So I'm thinking of just upgrading the computer. What is the most expensive one? 10,000 simoleons. And fun. 10 also also very good. And we've got the money. So what else? Yes, rebate day completed. Oh yes, the kids are home from school. And it looks we've got some A students. And one very angry one. Yes, he is an A student. Let's just age him up and move him out of the house. Happy birthday, Nico! Yes! Uh, he is a green fiend and flirty and proper. And he wants to have a really big family. Add some birthday candles. And then it's time for his brother Xavier. Yeah, remove him from the family to make room in our household. Blow out those candles, Xavier! He's not angry anymore, so that's good. He won't die. He is a genius, a geek and family oriented. And he wants to be a friend of the animals. He is just too cute. Oh, add some candles. Aiden is a B student, so he's not ready to age up yet. But we do have two empty slots in the house. So let's uh, fill those up, shall we? I've gone to one of the houses where I have placed your sims. I believe there are eight sims living here. Uh, there are two more upstairs. There, oh, there's one more. Oh, they're all very, very cute. If you want to make some sims for Sarah to use as donors, please uh, just upload them to the gallery using the hashtag Tara Watson. Oh, he, she just... Attractiveness alert! Breathtaking encounter! Ooh, she really likes the sim she is talking to. 
He is called Thor, and if I remember correctly, and no, I'm not entirely sure, he's a very handsome sim though, and how they all are, all the men living in here. <laughs> Sarah has lots to pick from, but she went for him, so uh, who am I to stop her? I'm just having them sit here and queuing up interactions. First flirts have gone well, really well. He seems to like her, like her too. Oh, I really like the way he looks at tattoos. It uh, looks, uh, looks really well. And I've got the option for a first kiss. There she goes. Yes! Now can she woo with him? Not yet by the looks of it. She's seducing him like crazy. Yes, we've got the option to woohoo. Romance, work, shower, hot tub. Oh yes, let's uh, try for a baby in a hot tub. I don't think we have done that before. Oh yeah, there she goes. Sarah is really, really good at seducing other sims. <laughs> I love this animation. <laughs> it's really funny. They are almost done. Yeah. Oh, he is an alien. I was thinking he will oh, get an alien baby. That, uh, that could be fun. Let's have her take a pregnancy test. Let's see if she is pregnant. Yes, eating for two. Hopefully for three. But uh, I'm a... Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how many babies these are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got two empty slots in our household. I'm going to leave this part here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press like as it really helps out me and my channel. I post new Sims 4 videos every day and new 100 baby challenge videos once a week. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.